I've got somewhat of an oddity here for you this time around, folks. Uh, it's a little menu phone. And if you've never seen these, these little um, miniature phonographs were very popular, I believe in the late teens and early 20s. Um, and all the parts here, including this uh, stand and the tone arm and the reproducer and the hold down and everything fit in this little container so you could flip it up and fold it into a nice neat little carrying case. Um, I originally used to use this uh, uh, cardboard horn but it's very frail so you just use it for display purposes as well as the uh, the old rubber connector that connected it uh, to the uh, to the tone arm here up so it could play it. But I'm going to play a 10 inch record here for you. We played up the 10 inch records. I've got fully wound up. And I'm going to substitute this little uh, 10 inch, this little very light conical horn for the uh, original cardboard horn, which is too fragile to play. And I'm going to play What Do You Get from Boston on a cameo record here. I believe this is from the late 20s. And it's done by, uh, it's done by a jazz band and also with a vocal refrain by uh, Billy Murray, of all people, on the cameo label. So let me fire this up. And let's see if we can get through this 10-inch record. This is a little awkward because I'm using like one hand here. Now let me see if I can get through this. sound half bad on this little machine. Um, I'm going to let that run out and shut it down. And uh, according to the reproducer here, the Minuphone, um, it's pronounced min -u -phone, um was um, made by the American Needle Screw Company. Um, the reproducer says Swiss, Swiss made. Uh, I don't know whether they're referring to the uh, motor on the machine, but it says Walker Products Company, uh, New York. So they manufactured the menu phone uh, in this country. So I hope you enjoyed that. And the tune was, What Do We Get From Boston? And the answer, of course, is uh, Beans, Beans, Beans. I'll let you know who that jazz band was, but the vocalist 
was uh, Billy Murray, who I believe the mid to late 20s.